turns 41 years of independence amid mixed feelings and fortunes. Since overthrowing the minority white colonial government through a protracted armed struggle, the nation has walked a timeless journey. Infrastructure left by the Smith regime has been deteriorating. Major towns and cities have been allowed to slide back in status, while roads and imported public ancillaries like hospitals, schools, and water reticulation systems have been neglected. The majority are poor, save for a few in the ruling elite and those who have access to tenders and opportunities in foreign lands. Professionals such as teachers, nurses, and doctors have been pupilized, and to them, independence is nothing but just a day. Opposing voices have been violently silenced. Elections, bloody and violent. To change its president, Zimbabwe needed guns and tanks to roll in the streets in 2017. The currency, which was strong and competitive in 1980, has all but lost value not only once, but twice. It's been a painful journey, yet the destination is nowhere in sight. This is according to those in the opposition. We went onto the streets of Harare to hear what independence means to the sons and daughters of Zimbabwe. These are their voices, the heart and so voices. 
Ati nagana ichi kuji kana ichi ufuka. Kumbere president wa ngoti tsa. Shuguita. Tumbona ichi kafu che kuji kaende shupe kugara. Ati ngo gara mstiti tungo sikara jangu rara. Apana kana shatri kuji ati kumbere rubatiro. Mare baba Sipo ichi ngo gara ini benenzi ngo ripo. Bagamori u president kumbere rubatiro. Is Gumbrao. The bass. I don't really need to Gumbro Passio as a Gitiga. Oh, my John Gorayana, my Sungirira, Yelton Mosia Marie, my Jagurana Marizacho, and they present my bachelors who have been the decisions of enough. A Garanam Zimbato and Agana Tiga President in the Gutiganava, no two of them Zimbazaoga. One of the consuls and Siana, Kunaman, and Farak, Bombawaki, the Gutanga, Bombawaka, Jinga, Kumbawaka, Garabo, a goodness consuls of the Senna, and with all the same roots, go on, what it is, is Nina, and what it is, and what it is, and it's going to the region of the region. So I used to doubt the Kumro, Bogomori, but see. Ini dah anggut dah nak kau menangga kau, nampak menangga kau jauh nak, nak kau pun dah aku, dah dah aku ni ni, makan di sini ni, tu tu kan kat sini dah anggup aku, mana mana ni pergi dah, mana ni pergi dah, nak kau pun kan nak aku, aku boys bangun boys dengan kerigu, nak kau pun kan nak aku cuma ni motor, apa yang cuma ni motor kalau tu jadi weh weh, ini jauh itu gora. And Monday, I don't want to run by ourselves. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be a very good deal. I don't want to be Matamuzi, but you think I now want to jump over to which I am going to go to Rayana. You see, a two arm treating room at Takanama Gumbez, the Rota Fuga Macad box. Massa is also independent. I told you about the Mabu, but you are more and you know, I want to tell you, I know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do Tu di satu nore, tapi di satu fuga saja bana. Ini benda tu di jodoh, benda tu di jodoh, jadi kita pegas. Saya suruh saja bana, sekarang ini kami belum berada di sini. Tapi aku nak buat cuti. Kau yang buat. 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 Kau Nah, ini pun dengan kita kan, mungkin kuasa untuk orang untuk bahasa awal tu kira. Eh, orang orang dah guna nama umu yang dah jibawir. Eh, orang orang dah kutu awal. Wah, wah ni mah bahasa, mah bahasa. Eh, siang ini dah bahasa cerum, nama jibaw. Ini kan orang orang dah umu, orang orang dah kurang kau memang nangka gusir. Ada ikan yang nama jibaw. Ada umba. Anak saya buat apa? Tuk orang, itu mesti orang seru. Macam, bapa macam. Gusra di karo di gawat istri, coba dorar. Ugu ugu gusra juga gurar, gurar ni mana? Ugu dok norar ni mana? Aku kedu aku najis. Ugu kedu aku tak aku tu awak. Cuma di sini cuma marah di kore, kore wayem dek macam tu. Yo nunggu yo cunor wah, marah awak cunor di janda. Marah nunggu aku nak rupi, kerja jo nunggu aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Marah jo aku nak rupi, marah jo aku nak rupi. Jadi kalau kita berdua 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 ber
Zimbabwe is rocked with a high level of unemployment. Many who left school in the late 1990s have never worked in a formal employment a day in their lives. The nation has turned its graduates into degreed vendors, turned its teachers into poverty-stricken professionals, stroking anger in the hearts of many who wish government should take more responsibility to turn the nation around and their fortunes with it. They do recognize the hard-won independence, but they bemoan the failure to attain economic freedom, and most of this is blamed on corruption. <laughs> But so far, and now I 
Those Mariga tender that no one quit a wash, most no one saw quit a seven when he found what that was. I was also Marika and a passi now Wagango car up and a chinuba. Saka Apache Switched on the young water that I know put it to an ocean, no one song to Batsira Pura, Masira, Masito, Satinito, Sivan. It's to an ocean with she that I'm some life is expensive for many. Affording a loaf of bread. 41 years after independence has become a luxury, reserved mostly for the elite. Medical care is beyond the reach of the ordinary. Basic anonymities such as access to birth certificates and national identity cards have become as rare as diamonds. People sleep in queues for days just to get their turn to collect a government-issued identity card or a birth certificate. It's so bad that some people said they now missed Rhodesia. I so far since independence. Zimbabwe. Transport Chayan is Ruchan and Dira Pachepapa. 
Whoever is advising the president, whoever Munanga, Mon, they should come and see the, the situation on the ground, not to sit in their offices and see and say everything is okay. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing which is okay here. Even a small young boy could to battle in it. It's, uh, less yesterday, not today. Yesterday, like this time, Numanai, say. Savar would teach him a few number. I want to put it. 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 I want to Ah, I you. But the Mr. President, Thank you. Uh, since 1988, I think I think things were What are some of the dreams that you have as a Zimbabwean to say if these things are changed, then our nation can move forward? Uh, I think Zimbabwe has got so many minerals. If those minerals are utilized, one benefit my citizen is back. I think things will be okay. It's like roads, better schools, better hospitals. This is why we do, this is what we want. Yeah. If I move in, I go into the hospital today. There's no drugs, there are no doctors. There are no, so, I mean, how can we move forward like this? And before, things were okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we need good roads, good hospitals, good, uh, uh, I mean, infrastructure. You, you know, eh, just go to South Africa today. Mm -hmm. Compare with South Africa. Then you see in South Africa things are moving. Why? Mm -hmm. Why not Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. mm. So, if you were to meet the president today as you are celebrating 41 years of independence, what would you say to him? I would say to him that nothing is moving. If you have got advisors, those advisors should tell you the right thing on the ground, the correct situation on the ground. Yeah. And you as a president, I think you know Zimbabwe, since 1980 when they came in, into power, things were not as they are. Yeah. This is the duration. Uh, there's no I mean, something which you can talk about. ZANU PF, which has led this country since 1980, sees nothing wrong except sanctions. There is no other problem in Zimbabwe to them except the Western sponsored sanctions. But the people see it differently and are demanding more from their leaders. Honorable Mawete Mawetera, 41 years after independence, what does this mean to you as a citizen of Zimbabwe and as an honorable member? You know, what really we, we are happy about is that as a country we are liberated, as a country we are independent. Uh, but indeed, what is quite sorrowful of this time is that I think this is the second year that we have not been able to gather and celebrate like what we have done traditionally because of COVID. But however, now we are here in this period uh, whereby we, we need to celebrate the gains of our independence. As Zimbabwe, we are a liberated country. We also uh, have been able to in, in, indulge into activities, economic activities that are supposed to propel the country going forward.
Uh, indeed, we also need to applaud uh, the, the, the introduction of NDS, uh, which has seen uh, a lot of uh, sectors of the economy uh, being looked at uh, in depth and being specific to certain issues that will actually be able to make the country go forward. And I think we also need to applaud the president for also coming up with a monitoring and evaluation uh, implementation plan, uh, which then comes on and has 100 days uh, uh, implementation plan, whereby the, the president or the, the ministries have to be reporting uh, every 100 days of what they are doing. For us, this already shows that the, we are in the right way, uh, in the right direction, uh, and we're in the right economic traje trajectory that will uh, enable us to see what we are able to do as a country. And indeed, I think uh, we also need to, to also uh, compliment and also applaud Zimbabwe for being one of the first countries to be able to, to, to start vaccinating uh, against COVID uh, in this country. I think Zimbabwe has been the one, especially in Southern Africa. So I think for us, we need to look at all this and we say, what is it that we've done well? What is it, even if you look at uh, the infrastructure uh, development trajectory going that way, we have had a lot of roads being constructed. And I think this alone shows that we're in the right direction as a country. If ever we can talk of the mantra, and that is excellence has always talked about, where he says Zimbabwe is open for business. Zimbabwe can only be open for business if we're going to indulge into infrastructure development, and of which we see uh, right now, if you look at what is happening, the roads are being constructed. For us, this is what we have really wanted for. And indeed, we have even we have had uh, the Fumbuza program, which if you look at it, it's meant for food security. And if ever one achinkaka guta, I think you are very well, you would really understand well that definitely a hungry man is an angry man. So if we're going to look at uh, Fumbuza being a, 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 a program that is there to make sure that we are sustainable as a country in terms of food security, I think that also is a long thing that is, is something that we need to applaud uh, in line with what the President's Excellency is doing. And again, I think uh, this year, uh, let us celebrate and I think I need to take this opportunity to say happy birthday to Zimbabwe. 40 years down the line, as young people, we are very much empowered even in terms of leadership positions. Recently, we also had uh, uh, the, the, the Constitution Amendment number two, whereby we saw uh, uh, getting uh, 10 seats for the young people and also the extension of the proportional representation. For us, this is a step in the right direction because we see that you women, the vulnerable groups, are women and also the, 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 the young people are also being included uh, in the economic trajectory. And also, we are looking forward to people living with disabilities. This is one thing that I think we have seen the President trying to do, especially in this uh, in this uh, new dispensation. And indeed, we are very grateful because of all these endeavors. They go a long way in, alleviate, in allevi alleviating poverty. They go a long way in making sure that as a country, we go forward and accommodate everyone. Because economic emancipation, uh, economic uh, inclusivity is all that we want. And we are happy that in this new dispensation, in this uh, 41 years down the line, we are happy that we are having all this. <laughs> Every day. Every day. I know one of the one or Rara on Sangadi Matam to the machine. I see Apa and Wargurara, Nick Nick Asna option. Akayama Sena Nuska Pakasar, Sakazuns at Nukumbiro Pakas, the Sipa Posse, Women, the Rongero Sakana. But I didn't see if I want to say I Sisi Inika na mukomanda kagara, muningi nangu aka 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 pasta, aka bogara, ana chukui. 
plus o meu canal é mais empregamento não pode fazer cadeira só é para poder ter meu canal é empregamento coisa não na a gente já se tornou mais degree tá cá tudo cangano tá cá itarini tá cá mais diploma tá cá itarini a fazer só que é um boa na base Jadi semua orang lepas, lepas, lepas semua makan. Orang kita makan pasal cewa, orang yang tak boleh qualify apa, di kalau orang makan, orang kita make shift kan. Selain ni tak boleh show kita cewa cewa. Nunggu zoh reality aja, orang yang dek lah, orang yang di economic wise, atau employment wise, jadi disappointing, disappointing, jadi. Maybe, maybe kita baca nahu. Kami semua pernah kau itu, awak ni dua lima bahasa cukup caga. Kami wan wanau, parti, maybe bangau itu tu bapa mungkin uti disability. Oh ya, benda kan orang buat tur, maybe ya kat tu, cari tipu kota seperti mana dia buat tu. Si cari ni tak boleh buat dia lelaki buat tu, pak eh pak nampai nengi ayat bau kota persen tu, eh pasang kau ni orang tua kari marawan, mama bahasa ni mama mau main tu. Eu fui logo tipo a mim vaca em tudo vaca essa hora mamãe incentivou eu fui private a minha campanha vaca a minha empresa homem a minha estabilidade o meu dois vídeos o checks o canal de something já cada hora o tipo a coisa o que tipo a empresa homem a minha estabilidade I think isso não vou na política ou não é mamãe já passou hum só não vou fazer mais porque eu tive lá o Music, you can have a Kawan-kawan, orang orang cecio, orang orang pun orang cuma boleh tahu. Makun di sana, orang orang pun cina suah cecio lah mahu si orang orang, orang orang pun suah orang orang cuma cie pun tu tu sama sama awal. Di situ orang cina saya cipu canggung muncet. Ya, saka ini tu cipu canggung ni orang 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 record, orang orang ni orang. Kau dekat cerau, kau nak tahu kau sponsor kau, jangan kau coba kau kaya cerau, kau nak kau asal barang, kau nak kau nampu dekat mon batera, kau nampu dekat cerau, kau wanu tu cerau, untuk si kau kau sama sama. Kau nak kau tahu ni grup, kau nak tahu kita naik, kau nak kau jadi sama kita cerau, kau nak kau nak diri free. Sekarang ini nanti nanti bye bye. Nukutini kaiyedu yashita makore forty one years independent yedu taka tu itari siramswa eighty sinu jino fa zana kuti adisinga ni si jinji nika zuru kundi kana kuti dushike pa haku pemberera nenye nzara nenye wado asimuno musibabu taka sunungurwa taka sununguka tino shienda tino shifarila kuna zimwe zino zedu zaji kuchema yedu na aso. Matambu tizi kwa atiku sangana nao, aga siyana siyana, mungedi ya Zimbabwe. Ta kutongo kumbira opa matambu tiko, edu iwayo. Kuti, patiche unga na sewa na we Zimbabwe pa independence. Jive zinu zinotia urika. 
Tigone kuita chino chino batika Chino ndi isisika Mkati menyika hini Kunyanya kuwa kuru vedu wano tutunga milira Ndo atiru na kutiti Kone kushita chichemo chedu Mnyika ye Zimbabwe Mkati njigile otiti Kunyanya isusu chiru kuchambu Zika chisina mabasa Chakungo sikira mastrit Mbari kutipuda yu mastrit Batu kwe kwe nda atina Tine murizi wada kuchengetu Chakunzi na utitisikire yu mastrit Inye kushia yu mabasa chetu Asi shimwe jese, ayi watino tenda, muno taka sununguka. Naita gona kushika mkatume zuware independenti, tiri pamuche tewa nawe Zimbabwe. Yes, itu shamuka chua government yaka gona since 19 years up to now. Runyararo, cheptianga. Kubatana, chechipiri. Ipapo government yaka gona. Kana ito, kutiva kila Zimbabwe kwa wari kuita waka gona. Bana wetu wa rukinda usporo niangu zao kwa vizi tina yuko muni kwa Zimbabwe. Asi urumende yedu yaka gona kutsiketu zako. Bana wetu wa vizi. Bawe matichi amangwa. Tino stint. Deshipu shamu no shuira utida ishaka tiriso. Na wewe tino kuchaura nisha yone ku yemapa sakuonya yemapa doni yetu da utidi gadis. Tigone kupuda mu nomsi tiri matiri kusia china. Si gwane kuyenda kumambasa mungu, maono verenga uti ndo basa rako. Dora tuku kumbi rao, papu kutiku umende dae ati gwane rao. Ndofunga upenyu wedu, unga swatu katiwone kwa tuku bane kwa tuku yenda. Nekuti makore ata fara, aka wanda, bacha atina direction so far. Tuku da direction. Mabasa kunyanya. Sikata sati tavane, vangu hivi urumende watawa na umu striti muno. Ina uye, ina uye kushaya mabasa. Pamwe mamwe akapera vamwe cheo vana vaitu cheo vakapedza zvikoro asi vana zvekuita vari kusvera ma bridge vachimwa doro takukumbira hurumende edu ipapo kuti ngaiti patsiro one kumuta ma industry vana vedu vagone kuwana vaine pekuskwera vari kutira kuti vave vatungamiri vamangwana vakadi As a member of parliament and as a member belonging to ZANU PF, the ruling party, do you have some regrets that you can point out to say if we had done this better? All right, thank you very much for that question. When I look at it, I think we need to be looking at it uh, from from a holistic view. And I feel that uh, we have done a lot of um, programs that I think are supposed to be benefiting the people of Zimbabwe. We can speak of the land reform. I'm sure when we went to war, that is what we're fighting for. But if you look at uh, the, the underutilization of certain farms, I think it's something that we need to really look at and say, I think as, as, as Zimbabwean people, we need to be very much happy because of, of this program. We're supposed to utilize land uh, effectively. And again, we also have got uh, other external measures coming into play, whereby we, we, we have got a lot of uh, people coming in and being corrupt. And I think we need to understand what it is. Corruption is a cancer. And and right now our president has really said it's not, it's, it, it, he's, he's been full throttle on saying that no to corruption, having an anti-corruption drive. So for us, I would say to myself, it's, it's really sad that you would get people also being corrupt still in this modern day and age, yet we want our country to go forward. And indeed, there is no way that I cannot speak of the sanctions that have actually uh, been bestowed uh, on us as Zimbabwe. For us, I would say, yes, we can't do, it, there's nothing much that we can do un unless for us to advocate against them and for us to, to, to continue saying that that we can also live uh, we, within those uh, sanctions like what we've done as a country. But I'm saying now, when I look at it, uh, we have got uh, people, uh, here Zimbabwean people, that have, have gone on and called on for sanctions. And when you look at this, I'm saying to myself, we need to be united. What we, we, we really wanted is for us to, to unite as a country because what really defines us and what unites us is that we are all Zimbabweans, besides us having different political parties and different affiliations. So when I look at this, I'm saying to myself, it's good for us as a country to unite. It's good for us not to be calling against any punitive, anything that is against the progressiveness of our country as a whole. So when I look at this, I'm saying to myself, what we could have done better is for us to unite as a country. And we have, we have done that, but then there are people of which we have got the Pollard, which is excellence introduced after elections, which I felt that every political party was supposed to be involved in it. But then when you've got that platform and then there you find out people there uh, decolonizing that, uh, that, uh, that regime that we have right now and going on and calling against, uh, uh, for us, uh, calling for sanctions or showing that they can be united. Yet we have got a uniting factor that we are Zimbabweans. So 
so for us, I, I, for me, I feel that, of course, as, as, as ZANU-PF, I, I, I cannot speak on ZANU-PF, but I would think as a young person that at least we could have done such things better, whereby we, we, we would want to unite us as a country and would also be calling against sanctions. And of course, we are doing it uh, the best that we can in our best ability. And I, indeed, I want to thank His Excellency for having all these programs to make sure that he accommodates everyone, to make sure that as Zimbabwe, we are united and united we stand and divided we fall. The independence was a fight for economy, for social welfare for people and also politically. When you look at young people, you are also a young person. There are a lot of young people who are crying of unemployment. And I remember His Excellence in 2017, he mentioned something about jobs. What word would you say to them as a young person out there who's also still crying that he's not employed or does not, is not financially equipped? What word would you say to them? We need to appreciate and understand the, the, the programs that government is doing now. Now we have got uh, the most talked about uh, in the last two weeks, uh, the, the, the um, introdu reintroduction of the, youth, uh, youth, the National Youth Service. We need to look at it and say, what is it? The National Youth Service is supposed to orient and be able to, to make young people have the potential of wanting to get into business. Because what happens is that they will be able to identify opportunities there. And again, they also need to be having a strong footing when it comes to national values. And when you look at it, I'm saying now, as, as, as young people, we need to look at these programs and say, what are they meant for? We are going to be having skills development, a skills development a strategy within the National Youth Service. So for us to just go on and then we are so much aggressive and we are so much negative, when there are certain programs that are meant to actually propel us or to, to put us forward as young people, I feel it's not fair. We have got this NDS program that is there. We have got the skills development program. We have got even the vocational training programs, which are there to make sure that young people will be able to get in. And recently, we have got the, 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 the we, we, recently there was a board which has elected for National Youth Council. That alone shows that we want to make sure that young people have got that representation. I also talked about the tenses, that young people, they, they, they've got that, those tenses that have been... Um, introduced uh, so that at least as young people we are able to, to get into parliament. Ten proportional representative seats that His Excellency got in. We have got the National Venture Capital, which is meant to make sure that young people will be getting into, uh, into, uh, into business. So when you look at all this, I'm saying these are, these are programs that are there. And again, we have got the Youth Incentive Tax, the Youth um, Employment Incentive, uh, Tax Incentive, Yeti. That Yeti, for, for, you, for, you, for crying out loud, is a, an incentive that is being given for someone being able to employ a young person. And again, we have got programs that are, are within uh, making sure that we re-industrialize as a country. So that alone is enough for us to, show you, to make sure that as a country, like what His Excellency said, he said productivity, productivity, and productivity. What it then means is that we need to be productive. As much as we talk about politics, what is very important for every young person there is for us to be, develop, to, 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 to be on the developmental trajectory. So when I look at this, I'm saying all these measures, they're meant to create employment for the young people. So when then employment is created, I'm sure this will also go a long way. And again, I talked about Fumvuza. Do you know what Fumvuza? It was directed to the young people. I've heard a lot of people saying that if you look at it, uh, it is, it, it's one program that would actually uh, be very well for any young person being able to, to, to get into the land. There we have His Excellence coming in and saying that we have got land uh, and we are going to be giving land after the land audit. That land is going to be directed, uh, half of it, uh, nearly half of it or even more, is going to go to the young person. So there we have measures that are being put in place for young people to be involved into productive uh, purposes. We have got tourism, we have got mining, mining, we have got syndicates that were told that they needs to be measures that will make sure that at least they become productive and also it becomes lucrative for them to be getting into mining. So all these programs, when I look at them, I'm saying uh, these are programs that are meant to make sure that we can then be able to substitute the issue of unemployment. Yes, I understand, but we need as young people to look at the skills development whereby we are able to be entrepreneurial. This is what is very, very important. As young people, I understand, yes, we want to be very much employed, but why can't we turn on our skills then to then be able to be entrepreneurial and start our own businesses? This is, I think, that the platform that His Excellency is trying to do to make sure that young people get into business. Young people are going to be getting into a lot of business opportunities and be Okay,
Certainly, this is what our founding fathers wanted, and this is exactly what uh, us as the post independent generation wanted. We are happy after 41 years. In fact, you can see the happiness. It is drawn all over my face. It is the reflection of this smile. You know, what happened in Southern Africa and in so many African countries after independence is that some countries even had to, to lose that independence to various, uh, you know, vagrant forces that, in, you know, among them involved civil wars, you know, rebellions, and some countries are still in various wars of one way or the other. But we are a peaceful nation, and we have been able to achieve that feat, of course, caters to the wisdom of our founding fathers. The former president, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe, you know, our founding father and former vice president, uh, Um Dalawet Joshua Ngomo, you know, Dalam Zendam, Ze, and of course, the consolidation of all those gains under, you know, the wise leadership of President Emerson Mnangagwa. That is the reason why we are smiling. And uh, I'm sure even wherever you're coming from, you have a reason to smile. Uh, do you have any regrets since 1980 about the path this country has taken? Yeah, certainly I do have serious regrets. The biggest regret among them all is that, uh, you know, uh, having fought for this country, uh, thanks to the war veterans generation of our, of our country. We never thought that there shall come a time when, uh, you know, some among our sisters and brethren will start inviting sanctions will start working with the white people that they had fought against. Our forefathers fought against these white people. They fought against them because they were neo-colonialists, they were colonialists, they were imperialists. We defeated them. But then sadly, you know, some 20 years after independence in 2000, we see the proliferation and growth of uh, reactionary forces that ended up calling for sanctions, calling for punishment on this country, and the proliferation of puppet organizations. It is something that we sadly you know, regret, and uh, we never thought that it was going to happen. Uh, you know, and secondly, we also never thought that, uh, you know, after having spent so many years in a protracted liberation struggle, we then uh, find ourselves in a situation where we have to be punished for taking and repossessing ownership uh, of our land. It is something that we never thought we were going to be, to be punished about. But uh, I'm happy, however, that uh, even notwithstanding the foregoing, we have remained strong, steadfast, resolute, and unwavering as a people in our commitment to the revolutionary program of action that we committed ourselves on achieving independence in 1980. And this is why, notwithstanding these sanctions, notwithstanding, you know, the enemy voices, you know, that gets amplified on a daily basis, we remain committed to that path. And that is why, 41 years, we have a reason to celebrate. We have done well in terms of infrastructure. We have done well in terms of setting the trajectory towards Vision 2030. We have done well in terms of uniting the people. We have done well in terms of inculcating a new sense of and culture of politics through dialogue and engagement with our former enemies, with our political foes. We have created the platform under the leadership of the president to ensure that we inculcate a new culture of engagement in terms of our politics. We have done well in terms of, uh, you know, as it were, prioritizing our people. And this is why, for the first time, I'm sure, we have doubled what could have been our bump harvest a long time ago. This year alone, caters of the Pumpuza program, we have done so much exceedingly well compared to other years. That tells you exactly that we are a committed political party, we are a committed leadership, and of course, under the wisdom of the president, we are focused on exactly what we agreed with our people in 2018. The, so the social contract that is encapsulated in our 2018 People's Manifest. There's no deviation about that. There's no reverse gear about that. We continue to look forward. Okay, what are the things which you can say we're not doing well up to now from 1980? Yeah, of course, you know, the president keeps saying it. Uh, without, of course, taking anything from the former leadership or the old dispensation, as it were, we continue to lament corruption. And of course, one of the reasons why Operation Resto Legas took place, it was because they had become an undeniable need to deal with the criminals that had surrounded the former president. And the corrupt, rampant corrupt elements that had, uh, you know, almost uh, uh, taken charge of the republic. Those things needed to be dealt with. And even in the second dispensation, the president remains very clear that we need to deal with the question of corruption, we need to deal with uh, the question of abuse of office, and that is why uh, this is the only administration 
probably after independence where we have lost ministers from cabinet being ejected from cabinet by the president specifically for engaging in acts of corruption that are not consistent with the program of action that is revolutionary okay we have uh, had ministers ejected from cabinet we have had the senior ruling party officials being dismissed from office we have had uh, you know people being arrested including top ranking government officials and party officials being arrested notwithstanding their rank and file in society the idea is that we need to uproot corruption from the bud. We need to nip it from the bud. And this is our commitment. And we thought that this is something that we should have dealt with in the gen to us 48 years, maybe in the previous 37 years before the new dispensation came. Had we taken this approach that we have now taken in terms of fighting corruption, we could have done exceedingly well and we could by now be consolidating the gains. But it's quite unfortunate we are having to continue the war on corruption. What is only good, however, and one that makes us hopeful is that we are winning the war on corruption. There is no compromise about it. We have set ourselves on it. The president has come up with a rejuvenated anti-corruption commission. He has also come up with a, uh, you know, a corruption unit from the police. He has also created a special anti-corruption unit in his office to ensure that the whole society is rallied towards fighting the vice of corruption. And we are winning it. There is no doubt about that. Reading through history, we learned that the war of liberation was fought to achieve majority rule, to ensure that every black Zimbabwean has got land, to ensure inclusivity and an egalitarian society. And unfortunately, 41 years later, that has not happened. I am a born free, born in 1982, and I must say between 1982 and around 2000, when I was growing up, I witnessed the better side of Zimbabwe. For some people, they've never seen properly tarred roads, streets that are well lit, clean environments around them. Fortunately, maybe I belong in the generation that was fortunate enough to have worked before and had a payslip. But most people, my age or younger than me, have never seen a payslip. Some don't even have a bank account. Some have never worked. And that is the reality of the Zimbabwe that we live in. Cognizant of the issues that led the gallant sons and daughters of this land to go and fight for freedom, I don't think that freedom has been achieved by millions of Zimbabweans who are still economically marginalized, who have no financial independence at all, and who do not even know whether they are coming or going, as most of them are still living in abject poverty 41 years after independence. Successes in Zimbabwe have been there, but minimal, and maybe have been appreciated by the elites. Zimbabwe successfully fought against neocolonialism and imperialism. We successfully took back our land, which unfortunately was not distributed equitably. Going forward, what we need to do after 41 years of independence is to ensure that every Zimbabwean benefits from the natural resources in our country. Every Zimbabwean has got the opportunity of doing business and the ease of doing business being an advantage to them over foreigners in Zimbabwe. It is important for our government to ensure that they empower every Zimbabwean because an empowered nation will ensure that we succeed in the economic drive that we have to restore the dignity of Zimbabwe globally, continentally and regionally. As long as Zimbabweans are not empowered, we are doing a great injustice to ourselves. That is why a lot of people are feeling that there is no independence to celebrate after all. My dreams as an individual is to see Zimbabweans working together, united in their diversity, standing for a cause which is social economic development, developing communities, developing constituencies, developing our country as a collective. Antagonism does not work. It has never worked and it will never work. 
There comes a time we all have to sober up as Zimbabweans and say, going forward, post-independence, what are the wrongs that have been done? How do we correct these wrongs? And it is about time that all political leaders in Zimbabwe took, out, took off their political jackets and say, this is the time for us to build Zimbabwe for Zimbabweans, to benefit Zimbabweans. We can't afford to keep on fighting whilst Zimbabweans keep on getting impoverished. We need to put Zimbabwe first, we need to put Zimbabweans first, and we need to ensure that we empower all young people who are, who are idle, who are jobless, who are helpless, and who are hopeless.